Have you ever wondered what happens when the financial markets are flooded with too much money? This phenomenon, known as artificial liquidity, can have profound consequences on an economy. Today, we're going to delve into this fascinating topic. Imagine a river. It flows naturally, with a rhythm and balance that's been honed over centuries. Now, suppose someone decides to artificially increase the water level. Initially, the river might seem more powerful, more vibrant, but what happens over time? The river overflows, the banks erode, and the surrounding ecosystem suffers. This is a simple metaphor for what happens in the financial markets when there's an injection of artificial liquidity. Take, for instance, the case of Japan in the late 90s. The Bank of Japan, in an effort to stimulate a stagnating economy, injected a large amount of liquidity into the market. This resulted in an immediate boost. Businesses were thriving, consumers were spending, and the economy seemed to be on the upswing. But this was only the calm before the storm. As the years rolled by, the negative effects began to surface. The surplus liquidity led to an asset bubble, with property and stock prices inflating far beyond their intrinsic value. And just as all bubbles do, it eventually burst. This led to a severe economic recession, with businesses failing and unemployment rates skyrocketing. The fallout from the burst bubble was severe, and recovery took years. It served as a stark reminder of the potential dangers of artificial liquidity. The immediate benefits may be tempting, but the long-term consequences can be devastating. So, what have we learned today? Artificial liquidity, while initially stimulating, can lead to an overinflated economy. This, in turn, can result in an asset bubble, with prices far exceeding their true value. And when this bubble bursts, the consequences can be severe, leading to economic recessions and high unemployment rates. In the case of Japan, the artificial liquidity injected into the market led to a temporary economic boost. However, it also resulted in an asset bubble, which, when it burst, caused a severe economic recession. Therefore, while artificial liquidity can provide a quick fix to a stagnating economy, it's crucial to consider the potential long-term consequences. Much like our river metaphor, maintaining balance and rhythm in the economy is key. That's the lesson that history teaches us, and it's one that we should never forget. So, next time you hear about a central bank planning to inject liquidity into the market, remember the case of Japan. It's a tale of caution, a reminder of the delicate balance that underpins our global economy. It's a story that needs to be told over and over again until the lessons are learned and the mistakes of the past are not repeated. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of artificial liquidity.